3 billion human lives ended on August 29th, 1997. Take it away! And today is Judgment Day, which also makes it my birthday. And speaking of my birthday, should we finally get around to opening that package from Mr. Evil Cheese? I mean, it has been sitting over there for four days. Ugh. No, I don't want to open it. You open it. No, wait a minute. Hold on. I know two idiots that'll open it. Oh, guys, I got a job for you. Um... Yeah, Foo, uh, could you do that yourself? Because I'm kind of busy right now. Yeah, and I've already got my quarters on the game, so, like, I'm going to be playing next, so y you just go ahead and do it, Foo. <sighs> well, you know what they say, good help is hard to find, but easy to kill later. Anyways, I guess it's up to me, so let's go open that birthday present from Mr. Evil Cheese. Hey, that kind of rhymed. <laughs> Okay, first things first. This package is huge. Man, look at it. What'd you send me, Mr. Evil Cheese? Another undead midget? Oh, man, I keep telling you I don't need a sidekick, but uh, you keep insisting. So, with the box flaps opened and looking inside, we find a bunch of bubble wrap and thankfully no undead midget. But man, oh man, I cannot wait to see what's in there. So let's look inside this bubble wrap, shall we? Now, before I show you what's inside the package, I don't even know yet, but I do have to say this. When you make a video like this, not knowing what's inside the box, and you're trying, you know, desperately not to see because you want to capture your first impressions, well, as I pulled back the uh, bubble wrap to look underneath there, I saw one of the items and I went, ah, holy cow, man. So I've already seen one thing and I'm already very, very happy. So let's get to the unboxing, uh, shall we? So, thank you very much, Mr. Evil Cheese. I don't even know what's in here, but let's get started, uh, shall we? Number one, you'll find this baggie with my handwriting on it. Hmm, he's recycling baggies from stuff I've sent him. But okay, let's look down here. And what do you find? But <laughs> these are awesome, and if you don't know what these are, well... Me and my wife have been collecting these new Shopkins called Real Littles, and what they are is they're like name brand items, but with little uh, Shopkins inside them. Well... I was kind of wrong. These aren't exactly the Shopkins. These are just little 1-6 scale versions of these items. But I swear to God, if you look at these and then look at these Shopkins, I think you'll see where I was confused. Because look at these little things and then look at these down here. Yeah, they look exactly the same, do they not? <laughs> but you'll see that he sent me some bacon bits, some bacon, some ice cream, some Vaseline, and some Hawaiian Tropic, I guess, shampoo? What is that? I don't know. But you know what? <laughs> Not only that, but I got this little baggie down here. And if you look carefully, you'll see that Lilu's Multipass is in there in 1-6 form. A little unicorn. And let's see what else. So you'll see that little unicorn right there with his fuzzy little buddy with the buggy eyes. And that is very cute indeed. Over here, you have Lilu's Multipass. And that is awesome. <laughs> A little 1-6 scale Multipass. And down here... You get some little buttons that Mr. Evil Cheese made. And now these are awesome. They're little 1-6 scale buttons. Now, if you've seen his review for his custom Tank Girl figure, he showed off that he made his own little buttons for her and stuff. This has got the Mr. Evil Cheese spider skull. It's got a little foo. And then you got the Watchman smiley face. And this is so awesome. Thank you, Mr. Evil Cheese. I love having these little things. That little blue guy is so cute. That unicorn's so cute. I'm going to use this multipass, and these things need to be glued on my hat. These are awesome. Next up is a card. Now, I can't show you the card because it's too special and makes me want to cry. It is so sweet, and I love it. But I will say that he personalized it very well <laughs> with all his little Mr. Evil Cheese doodles that I love so much. And you can always tell that he picked out the best card there is because it's personalized, like I said, and that is awesome. I absolutely love it. And look, you got Brett the Hitman Heart down there, too. And I love that. And it only gets better when you open it. Because a card only reaches its full potential after Mr. Evil Cheese gets his hands on it because... Yeah, he turns them into the best cards imaginable, and I absolutely love it. 
And now, a card that cost $3.99 originally is a work of art and worth millions of dollars and will be displayed in the Smithsonian someday. Now, reaching inside of the box and pulling out the first thing I see, which happens to be the very first thing I saw when I opened the box, the Karate Kid John Kreese exclusive figure and check this out now i just recently found out that this figure even existed and when i did i got so sad because i thought oh man i'll never have that because i love this guy in the movie and man it sucks that it was an exclusive but here it is and that is awesome now i just recently watched the karate kid about three weeks ago and you know what to prove it look there's my blu-ray right there and i have the cobra kai steelbook and that is awesome now i hadn't seen this movie since i was a kid literally a kid. And you know what? This movie holds up. I love it. And you know what? Everybody in the movie did such a great job. And I absolutely love this character. I always did, even as a kid. You know, I know you're supposed to think, oh, he's a jerk, but I always thought he was kind of cool. And man, this figure is amazing. And you know what, Mr. Evil Cheese? There didn't have to be anything else in that box. This would have been plenty. And you know what? I absolutely love it. And, oh man, check out the back of the package. He's even got a tattoo on his arm. This is so awesome. And you know what? I've seen these other figures down here. Uh, well, I haven't seen that two-pack. But I've seen the other three, the first three, Daniel, Mr. Miyagi, and Johnny. I've seen those at Target, and I've been wanting them so bad. But they're like $30 each. So I was like, ah, man, I want them. But now I thought, if I get Johnny and I get Daniel, I'd rather have this one right here. Now, these are awesome. Don't get me wrong. I would love to have them. But man, oh man, when I find that one, now that I have this figure, oh, I'm definitely getting that two-pack. That is awesome, and I absolutely love this figure. Next up in the box, we find this right here. Fortnite figure hidden by a bag. But look, it seems to have a different sticker on it, so let's look inside, shall we? Now, you remember when I said a card doesn't reach its full potential until Mr. Evil Cheese gets his hands on it? Well, the same goes for an action figure, because this Fortnite figure was already awesome. But now you will see that this is the exclusive Mr. Evil Cheese edition with real hair, real feathers, and red eyes. And check this out. And you know what? You can't tell me that you don't want one of these in your collection because he is awesome looking. And I feel as if he's telling me to release him! Now, the tray with all the accessories are untouched by Mr. Evil Cheese's hands. But look at the figure and tell me it is not awesome. He has feathers on his legs, feathers on his arms, and look at that white hair and that face with the red evil eyes. Yeah, this looks amazing. And this figure already looked amazing. But I don't know, man. That hair just made it look so much better and those feathers all over his arms and legs. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Plus, one of the best parts about this figure is, since it's the exclusive Walgreens edition, if you look at it with a black light, oh man, does it ever glow. And look at that hair too, man. It glows too. And that is so awesome. Now he looks like one of the bad guys that fought Robin in that alley in Batman and Robin. Now, I was already a fan of these Fortnite figures, especially the Skull Trooper. He just looks so cool. But this Walgreens exclusive glow-in-the-dark version is by far the best one I've ever seen. And you already took a really great figure and made it even better, Mr. Evil Cheese, because this figure looks super scary, and I absolutely love it. And just like I said with the Karate Kid figure, you get to stop right there, man, because this is awesome. But you know what? When I look inside the box, all I can think is... But wait! There's more. And the next thing I pull out of the package, I think, oh man, Slim Jims, I can't wait to eat those. But then I look a little closer and I find out that this is the WWE Elite Collection Macho Man Randy Savage exclusive figure. Oh man, Mr. Evil Cheese, this is awesome. Now, the very first time I ever heard about this figure, it was because Mr. Evil Cheese sent me a picture of it and said, check this out. And I went, oh, I can't wait to buy that. But then I found out it was an exclusive. Now, anytime there's an exclusive figure, I kind of resolve myself to know that, yeah, I'll probably never, ever have it because there's so many and they cost so much and blah, blah, blah. But man, I can't believe this is sitting in front of me and I can't wait to open it. So let's go check it out, shall we? But I can't because it's all sealed up still, brand new. And look, it's got Charlie Brown's t-shirt on the top. That's pretty cool. But you know what? I'm going to have to review this later. So I say we move on to the next thing and just say this. Thank you, Mr. Evil Cheese. This is awesome. 
reaching back into the box and pulling out this very shiny black box and thinking, what is this? The monolith from 2001 Space Odyssey? This is pretty cool. But let's flip it around and see what it is, shall we? And after flipping it around, I think for the third time, holy cow, Mr. Evil Cheese, this is another exclusive, isn't it? Oh, man, this is a NECA version of Superman. Now, I don't... I don't think they've made a version of Superman other than the Christopher Reeves version. And you know what? Oh, this is awesome. Now, I will say this. My wife will probably steal the aliens figure from me. Oh, crap. Well, that's gone. But you know what? I cannot wait to see this. I, I don't even know what this looks like, honestly. All I know is this is an exclusive. I do know there's a Batman Predator set. I don't even know what this one looks like. So let's see if we can check this out. It may still be sealed, so you know, I don't know. Don't hold your breath. Well, we're in luck because the front of the box is actually a flap and when you open it up, you find the figures inside and check out that Superman. He looks so awesome. Now, this is probably going to be my definitive Superman figure in my collection because that looks so good. He's got a cloth cape. Down here, he's got some karate chop or flying hands, as you want to say. And then up here, you'll notice he actually comes with another head. Now, that head doesn't have any eyes, so he's kind of creepy looking. But you're supposed to plug in his little heat vision eyes, and that is awesome. Over there, too, you'll find an alien. Now, I'm assuming that alien is exactly the same as all the other aliens, just painted a little different. And that is so cool. Man, I absolutely love this, and I can't wait to pull it out of the package, but I'm going to have to save it for a review later, because this is too cool to just rip into now. Thank you, Mr. Evil Cheese. This is awesome. And just when I think it can't get any more awesome than that, I reach into the box and I find the Batman Predator 2 pack exclusive as well. Holy cow, Mr. Evil Cheese. This is awesome. Now, these two two-packs, the Batman and the Superman one, are both based on the Dark Horse comics where they fought the Predator and the Alien, and that is awesome! Let's open up this flap and look underneath, shall we? Because unlike the Superman one, I've actually seen reviews of this set, and it looks amazing! Check that out! That Batman looks so cool. I mean, it's cool enough just to get a NECA version of Batman and Superman, but this Batman is all, like, armored up. He looks so good! Yeah, this is awesome, and I absolutely love it. Plus, you get a cool Predator, too. Because this is really cool, because this is the Predator from the comic. And that is so awesome. Man, I love these, and I cannot wait to pull these out of the package. But like I said, that's going to have to wait until I review them. Mr. Evil Cheese, this is amazing. Last up in the box, I thought, oh man, because I have seen your review of this, Mr. Evil Cheese, and I never, ever, ever, ever thought I would have this. You went to town on the exclusives because this is the Foot Soldier exclusive Ninja Turtles the movie. What is it, a four pack? It's got like two Foot Soldiers, the Shredder, and Splinter. Oh man, let's check this out. Because while watching your review, I learned that there's actually a slip cover on this box. And once you remove it, you find a movie accurate foot soldier figure. And he looks amazing. I shall call him Steve. Now, these are figures I never, ever, ever thought we would get. I mean, movie accurate versions, let alone made by NECA. I mean, this is so amazing. And you know what? I absolutely love it. But it only gets better because next to Steve, we have a movie-accurate Shredder. And he looks so good. His outfit is very glittery, but that's the way it was in the movie. And check out those claws. That looks so good. Down here at his legs, you can see that the uh, claws are actually on that kind of bamboo-looking motif. That is so awesome and very accurate to the movie. Next to him, we have a crate. And on top of that crate, we have Splinter, who is currently Shredder's prisoner. And check out that likeness. Looks like he stepped right out of Jim Henson's studios. That is so amazing. Next to him, we have Steve's buddy, Dave, and he looks awesome as well. And you know what? It is so cool to get two foot soldiers. I mean, because anytime you can get like these little army builder guys, you know, these no-named guys in the background, you always want more than one. And this time you get one in the same package. Next to him, you get a bunch of weapons and a weapons rack. And that is awesome. And yeah, this figure... Ha or this set, I should say, had to have cost a million dollars because this is incredible. 
And one thing that I've learned over the years is these exclusives ain't cheap. And Mr. Evil Cheese, this box you sent me had nothing but exclusives in it. So I know you spent too much. So there I am yelling at you going, Why'd you spend so much, Mr. Evil Cheese? Cheese, now you're broke, I bet. Huh. But I still loved it. And you know what? My birthday is awesome. Thank you very, very much. So, there's my unboxing of the birthday package that I received from Mr. Evil Cheese and Zombie Cat. And man, guys, you went too far above and beyond. I mean, I mean, look at this. Look, look, look. You could have stopped right there. I mean, this figure right here is awesome enough. But no, 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 no. You had to get me a card. And that card cost $3.99, man. But then you went and drew on it. Now it's worth like 50 bucks, at least a million. And you know what? Over here... This guy right here costs like 20 bucks at Walgreens, but no, you had to alter him. Now he's one of one. So now this is like hundreds and hundreds of dollars right here sitting in front of me. And then right here, you got some Slim Jims that I can't eat, but I will be chewing on that Macho Man Randy Savage figure. Over here, not only did I get an awesome Batman figure, but I also got the Predator too. Over here, you got Superman and Alien. And down below all that, you get the NECA four-pack of Ninja Turtle figures. Holy cow, guys! That's too much. I mean, they're too expensive. Jeez, you know, and I know they're expensive because that's why I didn't already have them. So thank you, guys. This is awesome. And I... Wait a minute. Now I know what your evil plan was. Yeah, you know I don't have any of these Karate Kid figures because they're expensive. But now that I have this one, I'm going to be going to buy the other three. Ah, oh, I see what your plan is. And over here, you got some Slim Jims you can't eat. Well, that was mean and evil. Over here, you got these two guys. Now, at least this set's complete, so that was kind of nice of you. But down here, you got the Ninja Turtle set. And you know I don't have any NECA Ninja Turtle figures. Ah, oh, now I've got to go look for the movie versions. Oh, this is going to be an expensive year, isn't it? I love it, though. Thank you. Foo! Reviews! Wait a minute, there's no birthday party for you here. <laughs> Hey, this is Nolan North. You don't want to miss Foo Reviews. And I'm out!